Hi. Oh, yeah. oh, hi, I'm Dana, and thanks for those who debated for me. In my self-introduction, the first slide I wrote is that I am an ever reader of English, which I believe all of you are. However, being an ever reader is completely different from typing out a book report, as typing a book report consists of character study, dissecting the book into pieces, gathering the best material it offers, and sticking everything together. I remember that I was struggling with finding the connection between me and the Hunger Games as I believe something that really connects me and a book is the way that we can spark an awesome chemistry. I wrote um, details for every chapter of a book that I believe held significant clues, but I still found that I didn't have what I was aiming for. It turned out the quote, work smarter, not harder, is true. So I changed my plan and instead I asked myself, what captivates me the most? It turns out, um, one of my teacher once said that psychology is what makes humans interesting. So I decided to inspect into that direction. And I found it, humanities, which allows me to dig deeper into the material and also figure out the upper perspectives at the same time. And um, throughout the whole report, I focused on how we humans sometimes behave. It's ironic how humans love and hate when we approach the same scenario happening to a different person. The truth is, we humans are usually indifferent unless something happens to the person we love. Then I categorize this into two categories and made a conclusion. You know what I spoke about the progress as if it was easy? It really wasn't. I still have such a long road ahead of me. To be honest, I failed my writing two times before I could be here, talking to you today. But if you ever dream of becoming an author one day somehow, like me, then let me share with you a quote from a variety of sources according to the internet. Practice makes perfect. Last, let me give out my thanks to my 11 teacher gal for giving me a chance to expand my writing horizon and give me a tip on how to make my chaotic thoughts into something readable. I would like to thank my 10th grade teacher, Pei Li, for guiding writing. Um, you made me realize many mistakes that I have made frequently. During the times that I wanted to give up, it was your enthusiasm that motivated me and made me believe that one day I can do it. I would also like to thank my friend, Annie, for giving me peer reviews on my writing. And by writing, I mean, well, just two pages of a thousand words. Now, may all of you continue to pursue your dreams in English and make it come true. Thank you.